Good morning. How the devil are you doing this fine day? Sorry, I've just been told something really funny. Uh, me, I'm very excited, actually. Uh, we've got a new film dropping tonight. Our big construction collective show tomorrow. There's a Volvo event later this morning, and this afternoon I'm scheduled to interview the author of a superb new demolition book. No idea what I'm going to be doing with all my spare time. Uh, we'll be sharing all of that in the fullness of time. But first, let's get this show on the road and roll that intro. <laughs> Welcome to The Breakfast Show. I'm your host, Mark Anthony. Sorry, sorry I'm still giggling. Uh, it's Wednesday, Wednesday the 7th, uh, 27th of October, and as that remarkably persistent guy just said, uh, welcome to The Breakfast Show. I am your host, Mark Anthony. In today's show, the HSE has highlighted wheel loader safety concerns. National Highways has found itself in hot water, or cold water actually, uh, over pre-demolition flooding. Doosan draws back the veil on its latest high-reach demolition excavator, and we have the ultimate proof that just anyone can become a journalist these days. We'll get to all of that in just a second, but first, let's see who among the rich and the shameless will be celebrating a birthday on this day of days. And it's many happy returns to intrepid explorer James Cook and to former U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt, uh, to Welsh poet Dylan, uh, Dylan Thomas and to American poet Sylvia Plath, to former Python John Cleese and to mafia head John Gotti. Happy birthday also to Duran Duran singer Mr. Simon Le Bon. Hungry like the wolf? Yeah, me too. And welcome to my world, Mr. Le Bon. Uh, many happy returns to them one and all. <laughs> It's almost as if equipment manufacturers possess psychic abilities. Remember when JCB unveiled its new Pothole Pro machine just a few days before the UK government announced that it was setting aside an astonishing £650 billion to upgrade the nation's infrastructure? Now, before anyone suggests that Lord Bamford had been given the inside track by his pal Boris Johnson, it appears that Doosan has managed to pull off the same trick. Just a few months ago, we brought you details of the company's transparent bucket system that effectively allows a wheel loader operator to see through the bucket to spot obstacles and, more importantly, people. Well, lo and behold, the health and safety executive in the UK has issued a safety notice that details nine fatal accidents involving wheel loaders over the past four years. According to that report, six of the fatal accidents were in the waste and recycling sector, while the remainder involved wood chip. Some were due to poor visibility, while others resulted from reversing. Larger capacity buckets had been fitted to some machines, further reducing forward visibility. As a result, the report recommends that larger capacity buckets are not used in applications where workers or pedestrians might be present. Uh, the report also states that the HSE is aware that manufacturers and other specialist suppliers have been developing camera systems for some time to address the forward visibility problems with these vehicles. However, and I was quite surprised at this, uh, until these are proven and widely available, the only effective control measure currently is strict segregation of vehicles and pedestrians. Uh, perhaps more interestingly, and this is the bit that really caught my eye, the report makes no mention of the various proximity sensors and uh, obstacle avoidance systems that are available from OEMs and from specialist suppliers as well. And I'm thinking predominantly about systems like this. For this type of vehicle, proximity warning systems with a break-in uh, interface um, is required because of the large amount of contractors and visitors that we have on our sites. FCC operate at two, over 200 sites throughout the UK. We feel that safety is of paramount importance. So everybody that enters our site, including our own staff, is issued with a tag. The tag itself is individually serialised and that serial number is put against that person's name for that day. When that tag enters a uh, predetermined distance from the machine, then the machine uh, detects that tag and then that tag will set off the braking system. The operators felt that the visibility uh, from this cab was the best of all, and visibility in a tight area, as we have here in a tipping hall, 
is obviously very crucial. With this solution, what we've done is we have, first of all, warned the driver, we have warned the person who's in danger, and we have now caused the vehicle to come to a stop, backed up with our safe systems of work and our traffic plans, and this is where the way we feel is the way forward. You can grab a copy of the HSE's wheel loader safety report using the link in the chat. But in the meantime, be careful out there, people. Axoft and Svantec are your high-end partners for noise, vibration, dust and air quality systems, sensors and software. To find out more, visit axoft.co.uk or call 01234 639 550. National Highways has found itself in hot water cold water actually, over a flood caused by the overzealous preparations for a railway bridge demolition in Dorset. According to media reports, National Highways contractor Amco Giffen arrived at the, in the Dorset village of Tolla Porkerum, and I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. Uh, they arrived last week like a tornado, it was said, and entered the property of three landowners and felled trees to create an access route to a disused railway bridge over Barrowland Lane that it wants rid of. The landowners apparently haven't been identified with the work or given their consent for it. The clearance work led to local flooding the next time heavy rain fell because wood chippings had blocked up the road drains. At Toller Porkerum in Dorset, the disused railway bridge over Barrow and Land is wanted for the development of a narrow gauge railway and cycle route connecting Maiden Newton and Bridport. Building a new structure to uh, new structure to modern standards is apparently not viable. However, the brickwork is in poor condition following years of neglect and National Highways now intends to demolish the bridge. National Highways head of Historical Railway Estate Program, that's H-E-R, uh, no, R-E-P, H-E-R, something like that. Uh, Helen Rossiter said, any plans to demolish the bridge over Barrowlands Lane are currently on hold as part of the national pause on infilling and demolition activity across the HRE. I knew it had some initials. This has been put in place to give local authorities, stakeholders and interest groups more time to fully consider structures as part of their local active travel plans for walking, cycling and heritage railways. We also set up a national stakeholder advisory forum to support engagement with interested stakeholders. Dorset County Council are fully involved with National Highways on developing plans for this structure and the future use of the area as part of an active travel route. So there you go. The Mirror GT series heralds a new era of unrivaled power and cutting-edge intelligent coupler technology, increasing job site safety, machine versatility and productivity. It's the added versatility that you need at the value you can afford. To find out more, visit millergroundbreaking.com. Later this morning, those clever folks over at Volvo will be hosting a virtual event to unveil what it describes as a concept machine that breaks new ground in smart, sustainable technologies, a physical life-size version inspired by, by a Lego Technic model and now for the first time made real. And this is roughly what we expect it to look like. That event actually takes place at 11.30 this morning. That's UK time. And there's still time to take part if you've got the time and the resources. Uh, there's no registration required. And you can find a link to that uh, virtual launch in the chat.
Doosan has announced the introduction of the DX380 DM-7, the third model in the company's new high-reach demolition excavator range. The 46.8-tonne machine joins the existing DX235DM and DX... DX 530DM models launched last year. Uh, like those machines, it features a tilting cab and boasts a, pr- a maximum pin height of 23 metres. The DX 380DM-7 also has a, hyd- hydraulic- a hydraulically adjustable undercarriage that extends to a maximum width of 4.37 metres to provide optimum stability when working on demolition sites. The width of the undercarriage can be retracted hydraulically to 2.97 metres for transportation. Like all uh, demolition ex- uh, do send demolition excavators, standard safety features include a fox cab guard, safety valves for the boom, um, intermediate boom and arm cylinders and a stability warning system. In common with the other models in the Doosan High Reach range, the DX380 DM-7 features a modular boom design and hydraulic lock mechanism. That design f- uh, facilitates an easy change between a demolition boom and an earth-moving boom for optimised util- uh, optimized utilisation. Got somebody else's teeth in this morning. I do apologise. <laughs> If you live in the UK, you will almost certainly be familiar with the Insulate Britain protests. Insulate Britain is an environmental activist group that has gained notoriety and a great deal of publicity by its members blocking key roads, some literally by gluing themselves to the road surface. Now, you might think that a group that condones the obstruction of emergency vehicles and using superglue to weld their faces to the tarmac might be stupid. And you're probably right. But by comparison to a journalist, and I use that term advisedly, on talk radio, the sticky hordes of Insulate Britain are veritable geniuses. Take a look at this guy. Good morning, Mike. Oh, hello. What are you glued to, Cameron? Uh, Just to your screen, unfortunately. Unfortunately. What do you do for a living, Cameron? I'm a carpenter. A carpenter, right. So how safe is that for the climate? Well, I work with timber, which is a much more sustainable material rather than concrete. I also but you work with trees off. that have been cut down then, don't you? It's a sustainable building practice. How is it sustainable if you're killing trees? Because it's regenerative. You can grow trees. Right. Well, you can, you can grow all sorts of things, can't you? Well, you can't grow concrete. You can. See you, Cameron. Cheerio. That was Cameron. Uh, he grows trees and then cuts them down and then makes things from them. Brilliant. Marvellous. I don't think I ever want to talk to any of those people. A face for radio and a brain for primary school. I'm not sure what bothers me most about that. His belief that a carpenter actually grows the trees and personally cuts them down. His dismissal as of anything made of wood as stuff or his apparent belief that you can grow concrete. And to think he basically does the same job as me. Makes you proud, doesn't it? Sorry to interrupt the guy with the funny glasses, but if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button as it helps our channel. Or better still, share this video with a friend or a colleague. Thank you. Right, back to Beardy. Right, that pretty much wraps up the show for today. Uh, But as I said earlier, there is loads more to come. The Volvo event begins in roughly uh, just over an hour. Uh, Our exclusive interview with Unbuilders from Canada will drop on demolitionnews.com at 6 p.m. tonight. Um, It's also going to drop on Facebook and on uh, Instagram TV as well. I will, of course, be back here on the morrow, usual time, usual place, tomorrow morning for the more of this old stuff and nonsense. And then tomorrow night, the mighty Construction Collective spooktacular show will land on a computer or mobile device near you.
that is also at 6 p.m. And I apologise if you're getting your uh, shopping delivered at that point, uh, but that's just the way these things roll. Uh, I will roll the outro in just a second before leaping gazelle-like over into the chat to see what you're all saying today. But until then, stay safe, particularly if you're uh, working around a wheel loader. Look after yourself, your family, your friends, and your colleagues, and I will see you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching.